Hey Zalifas, this is Super Summer Club Barbecue, and today we are back with another top 10, but not any top 10. We're going to talk about the top 10 that you have been requesting the most. Yes, literally I'm looking 20, 25 comments per video, per top 10, where you are requesting from me the ultimate top 10 list of the best looking cards in W Supercard from the beginning of Season 1. All the way to now, the rarest cards in the game to the not so rare cards in the game. And this list has got quite a lot of very special cards in it. Some of which I'm sure that you have got, some which you wish you'd got, and some which are no longer available in the game, and some which are still available to get right now. So I hope you will enjoy this. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. If you've got your own top 10, or if you've got your own top favorite card, let me know what it is in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you see. If you can hit it with a pedigree as hard as you freaking possibly can, that'd be amazing. And don't forget to subscribe whilst you're there as well. Let's get into it right now. Count down from top 10, 10 to number 1. Let's go. Now before we start this top 10, it is probably best to mention that this is based off of mostly opinion. So please don't take too much offence if yours isn't at the top. But if you would like to say what your favourite image in WWE Supercard, favourite card, whatever it is, Put it in the comment section below. We're going to start off by looking at number 10, and that is going back to Season 1 and going to Survivor Ray Mysterio. Now this card just, it signified Ray Mysterio in 1. It's not the card, however, because the card was crazily overpowered, and a very, very good one at that. However, it wasn't the card that for me got me, it was the image itself, and it's one of those cards where... I would love to have a Rey Mysterio card in Season 3, Season 2. Unfortunately, because he has now left the company on what well, seemed like at the time bad terms, but apparently it's come out now that she's on really good terms. But there's a lot of licensing issues. Apparently, Rey Mysterio can't be in WWE Supercard now or in the future unless he comes back to the company, which, let's be honest, he's going to come back. If Kurt Angle can come back, then I'm sure that people like Rey Mysterio and CM Punk can come back at some point. Now going to number 9, we are going to looking at the NXT Champion Samoa Joe from SummerSlam Tier Season 2. Now, the reason why, in my opinion, this is one of the best cards in this list is purely because the image is pretty much perfect. You cannot floor it. It works on every other image that's been tried, every other card that's been tried. It just looked perfect. And the NXT title over the shoulders just signifies authority overall it just looks like a badass card it looks like a card that's going to kick your ass and that's probably the most important reason why in my opinion this card is one of the best designed images in the game full stop and it's one of the best cards in a summer sand tier at the time moving on to number eight we're going to be speaking about another season one card now this card is one of my personal favorites and this is a wrestlemania pcc john cena now the reason why is this image overall is the best is purely down to the fact that he has the US Championship over his shoulder and the picture just works on any card. You can use this image on practically any card. It is rare as hell and even on the existing card it looks great. Not one of my personal best cards ever but the image is physically hands down one of the best available. So that makes my number eight. Moving on from there is another personal favourite and my <laughs> pretty much forever champion, unless I change that to uh, him or Eddie Guerrero, Coco Beware. This is a throwback from Legendary Tier. But why this card specifically? Because what other WWE Supercard apart from Jake the Snake Roberts are you going to find an animal on it? Not any particular animal, but a freaking parrot. Not only that, but the image coupled with the stars shooting through the sky on the pro just looked like the absolute nuts. This card and the image was, was possibly one of the best cards available in season one. End of. If not for two or three much better cards, which we're going to go through in a second. But Coco Beware overall uh, wasn't a fantastic card, but... Jesus, it, it just looks like an amazing card. It looks boss and it, it is a great one to use as champion. Moving on to number six. This is a personal favorite of I know quite a few 
of WWE Supercard's main fans, and this is from Season 1. This is the Survivor, Seth Rollins. Why is this image liked so much? Well, this is during Seth Rollins' now legendary Money in the Bank run, where he held on to it for a pretty long time. In fact, the longest time since, I believe, if I'm not wrong, Edge held on to it. And Seth Rollins cashed it in, which is what the legendary part is about it, at WrestleMania 31, which then meant that he became one of the most iconic WWE Champions because of that one reign on its own. And he held the title for a long time afterwards. But people love this image because it's one of the only ones holding the money in the bank briefcase. In this picture, he looks like his old self, quite conniving, the backstabber of the shield, the guy who destroyed the shield. He just looks just overall one of the best cards that's physically available in the game. He just fits every image. You can put him on any single card. And this image looks boss. Before we get to number five, I wanted to actually go through a couple of my personal favorites, which haven't made it to the top 10. And I'm going to talk about those now. These are specific images that I think are some of the best available, just purely because the cards just have that, I don't know, an edge over the others. The picture just looks good. So, Roman Reigns from PCC in WrestleMania tier, the card that didn't win, is the first one from me. That's my own personal takes. Uh, Roman Reigns is one of my favorite ones on there. Dean Ambrose from Legendary tier in Season 1. The overall card looks amazing. The image on its own is great, but it's not one of the best, in my opinion. And moving on to Mankind Throwback from the most recent Ultimate tier again. Looks amazing, but again, not one of the best available. But it does pretty much show off. That, that would be the closest to the top 10, in my opinion. I'd be like a number 11 if it was there. And we also then have Macho Man Randy Savage from the WrestleMania Fusions. Back not only in Season 1, but Season 2 too. Both cards look absolutely insane. I'm sure you'll agree. And then we have my favorite Triple H image ever. Which is this one here. WrestleMania Fusions Season 1. Just I, I, I don't understand why that image was not allowed to be transferred over to Season 2. But now you use it in Season 1. I'm, I'm begging for a Triple H card to come available. One that just allows that image to kind of be as... <laughs> he looks like a monster in it. He looks like he's literally going to kill someone. But we're going to move off that now and move back onto the top five. And number five is going to be the British Bulldog from the WrestleMania throwback season one. Now, why I just. This card just is the British Bulldog just defined. He was an incredible wrestler. He was an amazing athlete. He was really, really, really undervalued. And that's not even just opinion, that is just overall. Given we still don't have a British WWE Champion ever in the history of WWE or WWF or whatever, the British Bulldog should have been that person. But the British Bulldog, that image just looks amazing. And on the pro, that car just looks insane. And I'm so I'm so jealous of anyone who has it because it just looks the bomb. And I, I, if I, there was only one card I could wish to unlock, it would be this and one other card in this list. Because I don't have that image, which is so annoying. But if you've got it, let me know in the comment section below. If you've got any of these cards in the comment section below, let me know. And we're going to move on to number four, which is a very, very big favorite from a lot of people, especially for those who pay money in the bank. This one is WrestleMania Roman Reigns from the first ever Money in the Bank. Now, the reason why this card is liked so much is because it is holding not only the Money in the Bank briefcase, but it tops Seth Rollins by also holding the WWE Championship. And this is from my promotional feature that featured just before the Money in the Bank event. And the Roman Reigns picture here is probably his best that he has ever had taken. And at the time, he was actually being warmed to as a champion, only for Seth Rollins to come back, take the belt off him, and then Dean Ambrose cash in and take it off him. And kind of killed his momentum, and then obviously had the drugs issue, but just before that happened, this card came out and oh boy, it was good. Uh, also, the background looked really, really nice. Probably one of the best Money in the Bank images thus far. Probably only beaten by WrestleMania 1. Cat Daddy, if you're listening, make it happen. We now move on to number 3. Now, in number 3, you have to wonder what could possibly top someone holding the Money in the Bank briefcase with a smug look with the WWE Championship with such authority. Well, of course, it's the phenomenal one. AJ Styles. A SummerSlam AJ Styles card. 
one of my favorite images it, it, it i don't know it just it makes me feel joy looking at that image when i have seen it on other cards as well especially on the ultimate aj styles this card just looks good like really good like insanely good the pro on this card looks really really nice as well but as i said this card just suits every AJ Styles car that's ever been released. It just looks great. And he suits the title. He's made the title into something on SmackDown Live. And I think that really just improves it. The fact that AJ Styles is just such a looked up to and respected wrestler. That his card just looks absolutely amazing. And this was taken just after he won the WWE Championship off of Dean Ambrose. I believe at uh, Backlash in 2016. Moving on now to number two, to someone who unfortunately, like the British Bulldog, is no longer with us, and that is Eddie Guerrero. Now, Eddie Guerrero, this card, I could I couldn't really pick from either card because both images look amazing. One is from Eddie's "I'm Your Pappy" era, which is when you turned heel, and that's the WrestleMania throwbacks from season two. And the other one is the Season 1 Eddie Guerrero. Now, I've chosen the Season 1 Eddie Guerrero as my favourite for this. And I'm going to say this now, number 2. But I could have placed it at number 1, but I think there was just one other image that just looked perfect. And I mean absolutely perfect. Eddie Guerrero. Why is this image better than anyone holding a title, Man in the Bank briefcase, or just anything in general? Well, this was probably one of the last images that was ever taken before he passed away unfortunately and it's very rare to have these kind of images for a superstar in fairness the only thing you can think when you look at this card is just sadness but at the same time it is a legendary image it looks absolutely phenomenal the throwback image is probably just as good but if I had to pick between the two it would be this one because of uh, what it means to me as a fan and what it means to all the other fans who unfortunately now miss Eddie Guerrero in the ring he, if he lived on, would probably have had one of the greatest in-ring careers uh, ever if WWE had kept pushing him. But, unfortunately, this card symbolizes what unfortunately we all, all know, which is that he'll be missed dearly. But that also makes him my, my favorite images. And this, personally, is my favorite image of all time in WWE Supercard. So, the number one image. What could possibly beat Eddie Guerrero to the number one spot in this list? The image of a man that was just taken before he's passing. Well, it's none other than the amazing. The one card that would just look amazing on anything. You put this card image on any card in WWE Supercard, it would look phenomenal. 100% the best card in Supercard. Common Virgil. I, I'm joking. I'm genuinely joking. I'm genuinely joking. Okay? I, I'm sorry I annoyed you. I do not get angry and start disliking the video. I'm joking. That's not the best card. My opinion, it is Bret the Hitman Hart Season 1 WrestleMania card. Why? Because this card would just image the card would look great anywhere. It suits the card, it suits the image, the image suits every card in the game. It would just look perfect on anything you can plaster it. You can put it on the worst card in the game and it'll make it look great. That I cannot say about every other image on this list and that is why for me this Bret the Hitman Hart from season one of WrestleMania tier the first bro score in that tier it just defines Bret the Hitman Hart from his glory days it just says Bret the Hitman Hart it just looks great and that's why it's my number one let me know what your top 10 or if you've got any personal favorites in the comment section and below if you disagree or agree with any of my lists the idea is this is personal opinion matched with what I believe most people prefer in the game as their best images. But if you do agree with those, or you want to see more WWE Supercard Top 10s, go and check out the link that's going to pop up just on the left-hand side right now. And also don't forget to check out any of my other WWE Supercard content by looking at the bottom left-hand side. On the right-hand side is going to be my most recent upload. Go and check that. And also don't forget to subscribe using the little circle widget that's going to pop up on the screen. Now, I'll see you guys later. Remember to hit up my description for details to Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Facebook. Go follow and like on all those pages. And one last thing, and that is to. Zombie!